hello friends let's decode the ecg sent by one of my friends so this is that ecg so let's look at the rhythm first rhythm rhythm looks no, sinus rhythm and there is uh, around one two three four four and a half to five boxes are there so rate comes to be around 60 beats per minute and let's look at the axis qrs is predominantly negative in lead one and positive in AVF so it comes around the right axis deviation because both are reaching each other reaching each other for R for R right axis deviation Okay, look at the AVR. What happened to QRS complex in AVR? It's predominantly upward and lead one it is predominantly downward This is suggestive of global negativity QRS is negative in lead one and positive in AVR global negativity and let's look at what happened to R wave progression so lead V3 shows Poor R wave progression, so there is no um, R wave which, which is not crossing more than 3 mm. So uh, it is poor R wave progression. So all these features together is seen in Dextrocardia. So let's recall what are the features, ECG features of Dextrocardia. One is uh, right axis deviation. Second one is uh, QRS is positive in AVR negative in lead one and there is poor r wave progression so these are the ecg features of dextrocardia <coughs> and one of the important uh, syndrome where dextrocardia is seen is cartagenous syndrome so Sometimes there may be a question, a young male with copious sputum production and the ECG is shown here. So you can say ECG is showing dextrocardia and the copious sputum means it could be a case of cartagenous syndrome. So yeah, that's it. This ECG shows dextrocardia. Let's meet with another ECG. Thank you.